Hello and welcome to the Synergia People Podcast 2023. Well, my name is Karim Emir Gonzalez Torres and I am 21 years old and I am currently just being a student of life and learning about everything I can. So you are from Puerto Rico and now you're here in Santa Fe at Synergia Ranch. What brought you here? Well, I learned from Synergia Ranch from Mark. He once visited us in our home and talked to us about the ranch and it got my interest in and curiosity to to just come here and meet these people, meet this community and be able to help here too. That that's what I'm doing. I'm doing voluntary work. So where does this curiosity come from? Well I have always liked to travel, to move around, to meet new people, get to know new places. And uh, other thing that got my curiosity about the ranch, it's the, the ecotechnics and all the ecological work that they're doing and how they experiment with agriculture and the orchard and the recycling of water and soil regeneration. Those are things that really interested me. So the people here, they do run a project in uh, Puerto Rico as well, right? And you know this project. Yeah, this project is called Casas de la Selva. It is a regenerative forestry project. They are, they work with, um, restoring, um, typical trees and species that are very important to the ecosystem. And they are uh, planting trees, making trails in this thousand acre forest, tropical rainforest. Wow. That's huge yeah. land. Yeah. And they once had a, a sawmill there and they work with the the cultivation of wood and trees they have a plantation of maho it, it is about i think it is about 40000 trees and the plan is to in 40 60 years to harvest these trees and it is a lot of money okay so when you arrived here at Sunachia Ranch, uh, you are here now a month, something like this. What were you doing, and what were your first impressions of how life is here? What I was doing after before coming here to to Sunachia Ranch, I was studying in university, and. I got really frustrated, so I decided to take a break. And the first thing that came to my mind was to come here. And this place gives me the opportunity to experiment life outside of Puerto Rico and outside of university, of that close world. My first impressions with this place is how beautiful it is, first of all. I love the the community that these people live and work on. It was very interesting to suddenly be here and meet these people. Other other things that really impressed me about the ranch, it's the water. It's the sulfury water that's it's really smelly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We have that in Puerto Rico. It's yeah. I, it's also, I think, unusual for the U.S. It's it's a lot of sulfur in there, and it just smells not nicely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, what have you been doing here since you are here? Well, I've been working in the garden, doing weeding, taking care of the plants, planting stuff, um, and I've also been working in the orchard. 
in the process of working in the orchard, I have learned how to prune trees and how to take care of them. It's been really nice. And I've also been working with my music, um, taking advantage of the, of the space, of the silence, of the meditative state that you can be all the time surrounded by this beautiful nature. And I'm also working with wood, doing some woodworking, carving, putting the, the wood, the wood chop to good use. Yeah. So actually, maybe we should add this, that the flute we hear in the beginning and at the end of each podcast is played by you. Yes. We did a recording. Yeah. It was a very beautiful, it, it was a very, a very beautiful thing to just be able to be here and buy this flute from a Native American. And he, when, when I bought it, he told me, have a, have a nice journey. Like if the, the starting to play flute was a journey to oneself and to the others and to nature. And that's one of the things I've been doing. I've been practicing the, the flute. So you talk a lot about nature and somehow being connected with the environment here. Was this always like this in Puerto Rico before, or is this now an, how shall I say, an outcome of your frustration with the university? <laughs> no, I've actually been in very close contact with nature since I started university, because where I was studying, it was very high up in the mountains of Puerto Rico, and we had a very big terrain in the university. It was 120 acres. And I will just go walk and be hours in, inside of the forest. I fell in love with it, with just being present in nature and nature being present with me. And it really stuck to me. And I've drawn my life to be in that path of connection with the, with the mother earth. I am looking forward to everywhere I go. I just want to be with nature. So it, it has really stuck to me. And I carry that with me from Puerto Rico to here to the ranch. Yeah. So what are your plans for the next month, for your second month here? I want to keep focusing on the woodwork. It is a learning experience for me. I'm not a master at work. I'm just an amateur. But I believe that in the practice is how you learn how to do things. So I want to keep working with wood. I want to keep helping Mark with the orchard. There's a lot of work to do and those, and those trees need a lot of love. So I'm here for them and to give them all my love and my, my energy. And I want to see the garden blooming and I want to see it growing. So. I'm here to work and and give my service. I'm young, I have energy, and I can do it. What is important for you, as we heard a couple of things now during our conversation, what do you find here? In other words, what are the binding factors between what is important for yourself and what you find here at Synergy Ranch with all these people around? Well, I think the most important thing for me that I have found here at the ranch, it's the silence. It's been the first time in months, in years that I have been in complete silence. And I've really, really, really appreciated that because in Puerto Rico, in the city, there's no, there's no silence. There's always sound, car sounds megaphones, gunshots, and it is the peace that you feel and you live here that has really, it, it really hugs me um, to have this silence and this calmness. There's so much peace in here and that's a beautiful thing. I think this calmness and this peace, it owes it owes it to them. They have created this space and they have conserved this sense of calmness. And it is their desire to live in peace 
and to live a calm, quiet, and beautiful life. And they have achieved that here. And I am enjoying this experience with them in my stay here. So how do you see when you, I mean, it's almost like a love letter you have given to this ranch and to the people here. How do you see the future here? Um, what I have seen is that these people with so much knowledge and so much life experience and these people that have created these magnificent projects, they're getting old and this, this, there is a good legacy that needs to be, that needs to be passed over to a new generation. It's people like me need to come here, learn from these people and keep on the good work that they have been doing. It is very important because we cannot just let that all this progress goes to the grave with them. No, it needs to live on. It needs to, it needs to, it needs to keep being a thing. It is very sad, but there's hope. Um, I'm here and I'm already receiving all this influence and I feel like that's enough because I can pass it over. How do you think they can get more young people here? Well, I feel like it is very complicated because you have to do it with heart. And obviously I'm doing this voluntarily and I don't, I'm not getting paid. And this is not a, an idea that a lot of young people like. They don't like the idea to working for no money and for just learning. We forget about the good things in life that sometimes you just gotta do it for free because the payment that you are receiving is way more valuable than money. It is knowledge. It is, yeah. it is a motive. It is a reason to live. It is, it is plans, ideas that go very far and, and achieve beautiful things. So are you happy here? I'm, I'm, I'm having a wonderful time. It is, it is one of the best experiences I have had in my life. Very happy to hear. Thanks a lot. Thank you for listening and please stay tuned for the next episode of the Synergia People Podcast 2023.